Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer Practice Lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. If you like these labs, please consider supporting me via my Patreon or the cryptocurrency options in the description. In this lab, the second of our labs focusing on ACLs, we will configure extended ACLs. Unlike standard ACLs, which only filter traffic based on the source IP address, extended ACLs can filter on things like protocol, source IP address, and destination IP address. Our task is to configure and apply a single extended ACL to allow only PC1 to access server 1 and only hosts on the 192.168.2.0/24 network to access server 2. First, where should I apply the ACL? The general rule is to apply extended ACLs as close as possible to the source, as opposed to standard ACLs, which should be applied as close as possible to the destination. I want to achieve this in a single ACL, so I'll apply it to R1's S20 interface. So let's go on R1. Enable, conf t, to create an extended ACL, you begin with the same command as for standard ACLs, access list. Now I'll use context sensitive help. I mentioned this in the previous video, but remember that 1 to 99 is the range for standard ACLs and 100 to 199 is the range for extended ACLs. I'll go with 100. Context sensitive help again. I'll choose permit to allow PC1 to access server 1. Afterward, I'll create another statement to deny all other traffic to server 1. Let's do contact sensitive help again. Now you can see that this is different than for standard ACLs. Here are a bunch of protocols which you can use to filter traffic. The general catch all is IP, so let's go with that. Let's check the options again. Now I'll choose host, since we're filtering from one host. 192.168.1.11 Next, I'll enter host again and set the destination, 192.168.3.100. Contact sensitive help again. You can see there are other options, but we'll end the command here. Okay, so that's our first entry in the ACL. Now let's create another one to deny all other traffic to server one. Access list 100, deny IP any, host, 192.168.3.100. This denies traffic from any host to server 1 and will apply to any traffic except PC1. Now let's satisfy the second requirement. We have to allow only hosts on the 192.168.2.0/24 network to access server 2. First, let's create another permit statement. Access list 100 permit IP 192.168.2.0.0.0.255 host 192.168.3.101 This command permits any hosts in the 192.168.2.0/24 network to access the host 192.168.3.101 which is server 2 Now let's deny all other traffic to server 2 Access list 100 deny ip any host 192.168.3.101. Okay, we have fulfilled both requirements. Now let's create one more statement to allow any other traffic. Remember, at the end of any ACL, there is an implicit deny any. Our requirements didn't state to deny all other traffic, so let's override that implicit deny any. Access list 100, permit IP any any. That's it. Finally, let's apply the ACL to R1's S20 interface. Interface S20, IP access group 100 out. Now this ACL will apply to all outbound traffic on R1's S20 interface. Let's test it out. From each PC, I'll ping each server. First, PC1. It should be able to access server 1, but not server 2. Ping 
It works. Next, ping 192.168.3.101. It doesn't work. Okay, functioning as intended so far. Now, PC2. It shouldn't be able to access server 1 or server 2. Ping 192.168.3.100. Doesn't work. Ping 192.168.3.101. Doesn't work again. Now let's go on PC3. It shouldn't be able to ping server 1, but should be able to ping server 2. Ping 192.168.3.100. Doesn't work. Ping 192.168.3.101. It works, as expected. Finally, PC4, which should be the same as PC3. Ping 192.168.3.100. Doesn't work. Ping 192.168.3.101. It works. So, our ACL is functioning as intended. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comment section. If you want to support my channel, please consider contributing to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Jeremy's IT Lab. I accept Bitcoin and Ethereum donations via the addresses in the description. I am also a Brave Verified Publisher and accept BAT or Basic Attention Token donations in the Brave browser.